What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sheldon and this is Sheltech, where I unbox, test, and review new technology products. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and testing the Aki 1080p webcam. So the main reason I decided to go with this model is because of the price. This is less than $50 and you can have other webcams such as the C920 from Logitech costing you about $150. Since I'm using this mostly for a Zoom calls to work, I don't need a 4K version. I just need the basic version that sounds good, it gives a decent quality, and makes the Zoom calls just a little bit easier. So let's see what's in the box. In the Aki 1080p webcam box, we have two things. We have the webcam and USB cable, and we have a simple paper manual. This webcam comes with a 65 degree viewing angle has built-in noise reduction, has enhanced for video calls. This is a basic Chinese-made webcam with about 1080p by 30 FPS resolution. And it comes with a 1.8 meter cable. With the long cable, you should have no problem moving it around. But two microphones in the front should give you stereo sound. The foldable clip stand fits most flat screen computer monitors and laptop screens. And the camera can be tilted up and down for different camera angles. Plug and play compatible, just plug it in and you're ready to go. The webcam can be used three different ways, on the desktop, on a tripod or mount, or the desktop stand turns into clips on the bottom so you can clip it on top of your computer. So you can have it the traditional webcam way on top and angle it down towards your face. Now let's give it a sound and video test to see how it works. So now I'm using the Aki 1080p webcam. Here's the picture and the sound of it. You know, it's a little saturated. Its picture is not the clearest. I'm not sure if my webcam that I received from Amazon is a little defective or this is the actual picture. Because if you move it around too much, it starts making problems with the USB cable. I don't think this is up to the standards of other webcams. I think it's either a defective USB cable or it's just defective overall. All right, stay tuned for my next videos on a sub $50 webcam that I find on Amazon and I'll compare it back to this. So am I happy with the Oki webcam? Not really, but it doesn't seem to have a very good picture for me. As you've seen from the clip that I just couldn't get it to look right. Maybe it's my software, maybe it's my keyboard, or maybe it's this USB cable has gone bad. But right now I'm going to be returning this and trying a different webcam. I don't think I want to get the exact replacement. I think I'll try another under $50 webcam and see how that goes. So look out for my next video. Please like and subscribe and get ready for some more product review and webcam review videos. Thanks for watching.